We just recently heard from two senior players on the Terriers women's basketball team, but there have been some younger players that have had instrumental success to the Terriers this season. Sophomore Leah Fetchko and junior Jamie Vidé. And talking to them right now is Vito Scalisi of the Terriers Sports Network. Thank you, Dexter. I'm standing here with Jamie Vinay and Leah Fetchko. Guys, you guys won 19 games this season. That's the most in program history. That's following years in which you won four games and 11 games consecutively. Jamie, you've been here for the four wins. You saw it go from 4 to 11. What's it like now winning 19 games for you guys this season? Uh, it's definitely a lot better. Like, we have a lot more morale. You know, we're, we're more excited about playing and, you know, about people coming to the games. Um, it definitely helps that, you know, we're a veteran team now. We've all, you know, played together for like three years and we've recruited some really good players that have contributed. So it's definitely a big up. Well, you've been here, you've had some success with the team. What's it like going from 11 and now being a part of this great season? Um, coming in with 11 wins, it feels good. And moving on to 19 and making history, I mean, that's always a successful season when you make history. What would it mean for not only for the basketball program here, but for the entire campus, the student body, and the entire community surrounding the school if you guys were to win the NEC tournament and go on and win and go on into the national and the NCAA tournament? Um, like Leah said, it's definitely history. Uh, it's big for the school, it's big for us, it's big for the town. I mean, we have an opportunity to do something that the women's basketball team has never done since, you know, it's, it's been brought to the school. So it would be amazing. I think it's good because it'll help us in the future with the recruiting process. And I also think it'll make, give us more fans. Like, we're, we're going to the NEC tournament, and if we make it to the NCAAs, I mean, we'll have, a, like, a lot of back, like, fan system behind us. Brighton isn't a place where you guys have had much success lately. In fact, in the last five seasons, you guys are just one and four there. What do you guys have to do uh, to prepare yourself to go in there this time and win? Honestly, it's mental preparation. I mean, we need to be ready to, to battle, to rebound, to play big defense. Um, it's come down to three points the first time we played them, five points the last time we played them here. You know, it's, it's bound to happen for us if we mentally prepare. Uh, going into Bryant, I think we need to focus more on ourselves. We need to do what, like the Terrier way. We need to play our basketball. We can't focus on what they do. But and we last time we went there, we got out rebounded by a lot. So I think we need to get like rebounds and. Yeah. As you guys see a team more and more, because this is the third time you're playing them this season. As you see a team more and more throughout the season and into the playoffs, is it easier for you guys to play against them because now you know them better, or does it become harder because now they know you better? Um, it's definitely a catch-22. We definitely know their tactics, but then they're liable to change their tactics because we know them. But I mean, like Leah said again, if we play our basketball, no one can really stop us. I think we're one of the best teams in the conference. Um, playing a team for the third time, I think it's good for us because we know their personnel. We know what each player does. So if we stop them for personnel-wise, and I think we play our basketball, we can win. All right, guys. The other night, I excited to make a bold prediction. How far is this team going to go in the NEC tournament? All the way. All the way. This is Vito Scalici, that's Jamie Vinay and Leah Fetchko.